Hey guys, welcome back to DAT, and today in this video we are going to be building and completing the 3 inch apex. So I've got all the bits here laid out guys um, basically what we've got is we've obviously got the frame the apex uh, three inch frame I've got um, an old it's not that old but it's basically it's a Mamba Mini and it's a DJI version so it's a plug and play with the um, Cadex Visitor which comes with a nice handy plug as long as you can wire it in okay which of course we can so like I said I've used this Mamba before but basically I've tidied up the pads so it's got solder on it already and it is pretty much ready to go. I've also taken the um, an old Crossfire Nano, which is just wired up there. Hopefully you've caught me wiring one of these before so you know how that's done. All we're gonna do is, we're probably gonna trim this down and just wire it in again, or solder the wires back in like this. Brand new Cadex Vista unit. That's ready to go. That's with the DJI cam on it. I did think about getting the ne Nebula version, but I went for this because I know what, exactly what they're like and I know they're very good. So that's there, ready to go. I've got an XT30 connection for the battery, which is what I'm going to wire on. I'm going to use that instead of the XT60, because I think the XT60 is going to be a little bit too big. So that'll wire in nicely. Got the motors, they're there. Hopefully you caught that video, linked up here as well. So we put those in. And yeah, that's about it. Obviously antenna for the um, Crossfire. So what I always do is I always like to plan out where everything's going to go inside because you can come across problems if you don't. You try and stick things in, it doesn't fit, and you just make a mess of the whole thing. It has happened to me before. Be warned. So let's have a look. Let's take this top plate off and see where everything's going to actually fit. Uh, that goes in there, obviously. So... Get the stack in first of all. Obviously put it in the right way. There's an arrow always on the stacks. Arrow goes towards the front. Uh, Cadex Vista is gonna sit there. And instantly, you know that that is gonna have to sit under. That's gonna fit there, no problems. Ampler wire, ampler cable. You can already see it might get a little bit snug with the battery connections in place, but we'll come across that. I may need to raise this up on a couple of gummies, but that'd be no problem to do. Um, what else have I got? I've got this this mount here, 3D printed mount. I got this from Actual Brain 3D. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check him out. He does some great little products, and this will fit on the back and hold the actual Cadex um, antenna beautifully so this just slots on the back like so like that and that is going to hold the antenna beautifully so that'll be nice and smart the actual um crossfire antenna i'm going to actually put that underneath so it sort of gets out of the way of the um Galaxy Vista unit. So that's going to go in there like so. And it's going to be zip tied to the back. So let's just get this air unit out of the back, out of the way. Air unit, Galaxy Vista. There's a couple of um, zip tie holes. So it is going to be zip tied into the back there. Well, about here actually. Be zip tied about there. There you go. Just I didn't want the cable sitting under the actual unit. So that'll be there, that'll be there. This cable's got plenty of room to go. Uh, flight controller on top. That'll be fine. This battery connection I'm gonna try and stick out the side, so solder it out the side. Just there. So it'll be on the connection as it come out the side. Nice and easy. And that. And the actual Nano. The best place for this to go 
is actually on the top here because the three connections it needs, or the four connections rather, are actually right here, just here on the stack. So if this sits here, I'm going to cut these wires nice and short, and I'm going to put a bit of um, wrap around there, seal it up, and I'm going to actually stick it to the top of the Cadex Vista and keep that nice and tight and out of the way. So that is about the build there, and then obviously motors, well, there's in. Don't forget about your motors. So, we are pretty much ready to go. I'm going to, what am I going to do now? I'm going to get these battery connections in. So I'm going to tie this up again, get my solder kit out, I'll be right back. Okay guys, there you go. That is the ESC board and what we're going to do is we're going to get this battery connection wired into it and I'm going to try and wire it out the side like this. I actually bought this. Do forgive me, I bought this pre-made. Oh no, sorry. So let's get the iron going. Right, there we go, we'll go with that. I'm gonna twist that around a bit. And that'll be fine once it's out the side. It'll be good. Okay, let's get this board in place. It's not too bad, it's probably not my best day soldering. I don't think any of my days are best day soldering. But we'll see. A little bit of faith. be tied off right over here. So that will actually work quite nicely. You see that? You see that there? It'll work pretty well. Cool, no, I think that'll be fine. Right, next thing, we're gonna look at wiring the Cadex up actually. So the Cadex is pretty simple to wire. You've got two, two air battery ground, and then off the top of my head, it's RX and TX. Yep, so on the Cadex, you've got battery, ground, RX, TX. That is it, that's the only ones we have to wire on this. And we've got a convenient plug and play cable, which goes into the actual um, stack, so this plugs into the stack that way, and then it's just figuring out which cables you've got, so let's get this into place because I want to see how short, because I'm going to make these as short as I can because I want it to fit quite nicely, so for me this is the plug and play part, this cable can fit in here, in the stack like so, and it's going to come around here, and I don't want I don't want all of that, so that's quite a lot. And the actual connections are at the back. This is going to be this way. So the connections are actually at the top. There's quite a lot. That would be ample. So there, that is going to be ample. So I basically just trimmed the wires so they're nice and short. I'm going to wire these in now. 
So these, these cables here, you've got obviously red is your power, uh, black is your ground, and then you've got a yellow and a white, and the yellow is TX, and the white is RX, and a TX goes to RX, and the RX goes to the TX, they're always the other way around. So the yellow goes to the RX, and the white goes to the TX, and if you remember it colour-wise, we're going to go red, black, yellow, white. So TX to RX. There we go. Right, just going to get these tinned up. If you can afford one of these soldering irons, by the way, it's really worth it. Video about the um, soldering iron is there, it's really nice. So, that's the bit I cut off. What did I say these were? Power ground, TX and RX. So we're going to go white, yellow, black and red. Twist those up. So we'll find out by twisting them it doesn't fit. <clears throat> Just check that out, so I'll have to rewire it again. I've got a spare one. As you can see, that will fit really nice. Yeah, I'm fitting there perfectly. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. So, catalyst connection is wired in. That's ready to go. Put that to the side. Battery connections are in. Uh, what should we do now? Should we look at these motors? Let's get the motors into place. Let's just connect those up. We're going to put the feet on as well. So plastic feet protectors. These little feet protectors here, if you can see those. So I'm going to stick that. I'm going to stick that on it. <coughs> Let's get these on. So there's the longer screws that um, came in the actual frame kit. They will work for the feet. And it's just getting them all in. Always check just to make sure that they're not actually going to go too far as the motors, and they're not, they're absolutely fine. Yay! Right, there we go. All the motors in place. What I'm going to do now is just get these wires to the right sort of place, and then I'm just going to snip them, I'm going to tin them up, and then we're going to solder them to the actual connections right here. Right here. Okay? So, 
I might forward this bit a little bit. Here we go. Right, so there you can see I've trimmed all these wires. Basically what I do is I roughly get the correct place and then I give it a bit of slack because I have I have actually, in the olden days of making quads, I've actually made these too tight and if you crash, it actually just, there's no, no you know, there's no looseness, so it's all tense and tight and if you crash, it seems to actually ruin your pads and it'll desolder. So don't do that, always best to have a little bit of slack and there's gonna be plenty of slack there, so I'm gonna be pushing that under and stuff, but it's fine for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna get these tinned up and we'll get them connected. There we go, all tinned up. And now we're going to actually solder it onto the actual ESC board. So just before I actually solder these to the um, ESC board, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Cadex Vista in because I'm actually going to put the camera cable under the ESC board itself. So it'd be easy to do it now. And I'm going to get the antenna on and attach that to the Cadex Vista as well. So, did I mention, got that from Brain3D, I'll put a link in the description, great little um, little 3D print mount, so as you can see that, just push it straight in, like so, very easy, and this clips on here, I need to loosen, loosen this slightly, very easy to add, actually add this on, loosen that very slightly, and then that should just spin out. Like so. And this should just clip on. back Let's loosen this a little bit more on there. Great stuff. So there's a little bit of slack there, but we're going to lose that somewhere. Or somehow, we're just going to have to bend it up, take the ESC board off, stick the Cadex in place. We'll sort that out in a minute. I'm going to mount this Cadex now, actually. So I'm going to put a Mounted screws actually provided from the frame kit and I've got a couple of little gummers that I'm going to put underneath just to keep it in place. Little gummers like that.
three and four. So there you go. Canics visited this way up. QR code up. And then it's just some little bolts to attach. There we go, Calyx is in place. So what we're going to actually do now as well is get the um, antenna on for the um, for Crossfire because that needs to be zip tied and it's getting a bit tight in there. Crossfire, I'm sticking up through that hole there, or the antenna rather, and zip tied to the back. So, a couple of zip ties. Two, there's the other. Does it so? I'll sit just there. I'll tighten that up when I'm happy with the position. Okay, this bit of antenna just goes on the back. because of that. <clears throat> so make sure I'm not snagging any curves, which I think it might.
right down to the ground. And then he won't snap his cables. There we go. Very nice fit. Hopefully you can see that. So I had to push it right down, but it is there. That is on. So that fits rather nicely on the back. You see that there? Trim these a little bit and leave me just a little bit to tighten them up. I will trim those again and as soon as I get the right position I'll tighten them up as well. So this is where you take your life into your own hand because you've got a lot of important parts in place now. ESC board back on camera way out of the soldering range. Now let's get these on. So back to soldering these uh, motors in. There, that looks all right to me. I don't really like enjoy soldering, if I'm honest with you. I'm all right at it. I'm not the best by any means, but you know, you gotta do your soldering if you wanna do this hobby. So you can only get better, can't you? So they're in place and next things, we're just gonna tuck them up and we're gonna put the camera on the actual mounts. And we're almost there. I think the only thing left to do really is connect some stuff up and get the crossfire in place. So let's zoom out and see how we're doing. <clears throat> let's get this camera in place just to stop it rolling around everywhere. On the camera there is a little arrow at the bottom points up. Again, barcode at the top always helps. Yeah, camera's in place. <clears throat> Make sure the battery cable's over the top. I'm just going to tuck these wires under.
reason. So that's pretty much in place now. So there we go. Everything's almost in. Looking pretty nice. What next then? So we've got the flight controller. What we need to do is we need to put in Crossfire. So let's figure out how Crossfire is going to go in. <clears throat> so Mamba Stack will sit there beautifully. Cadex will plug in there. Like so. Absolutely, absolutely fucking genius that cable cut was. And also, so here is the um, crossfire, crossfire nano. Need to get that in. Like I said, I'm going to actually stick that on here. It's going to have a bit of shrink wrap over it, so don't worry about that. And then I'm just going to use a bit of double-sided tape to stick it to the actual Vista unit. But I don't need much of this wire again. So I don't want to overdo it. Remember that cable has got to be there. <coughs> I'm going to stick it probably right there. And have a bit of slack. And they're going to come right here. And that's got to stick on there as well. And that'll be fine. There we go, so that's cut, ready to go. Just gonna tin these up and then we'll get them actually soldered in place again. So we've got ground, uh, live, and then we've got TX and RX, as I believe. How I remember it is we got black, red, yellow and white. Please do double check when you're doing this. and then twist twist the other way actually That's going to sit just there for me. <clears throat> Aerial on top. This is going to cross and cover it all up there. So I'm going to get a bit of shrink wrap and then we're almost done. So a little bit of shrink wrap. 
and that is going to go over the crossfire. Just keep it all in place, make sure the antenna is in place as well. So, we only need a bit really. Do you remember it shrinks though? So attach your antenna. So that's on. Oh, that bit of shrink wrap's quite tight actually. <clears throat> All right. Careful if you're going to do this with a lighter. Make sure you don't burn any of your components and wires that you actually want. Trim the top. Beautiful. Double sided sticky tape I've got somewhere. There we go. Big roll of double sided tape. Industrial strength tape, I must add. just going to be stuck right there. Crossfire in place. See that? Okay. Now, this cable is going over the top. So where I find out I haven't got enough room to do it. Calyx is in, Nano is in place there, and we are pretty much almost done. I am going to put some little plastic bolts onto the stack, just to keep it all in place. Oh! Bastards, aren't they? Right, what now? Pretty much done, guys. I'm going to get a bit of tape. I'm going to, going to put tape around the actual wires now, just keep those in place on the motor wires, that is. One bit of tape on each.
There we go. Motor wires taped. Just a bit of tape. That's all it takes just to keep them in place. Need a zip tie on this now. One last zip tie. There is a zip tie hole right there. Hope that's in the right place. And trim it off. Right. So just tighten up these at the back and then we're pretty much there. Okay, so, not bad, let's get the top on. Oh, see that? Don't forget to plug in your ESC and your flight controller. Right, let's get the top on. So, there she is guys, that is pretty much complete, I'm going to, what I'm actually going to do, you know I'm going to do it is, I'm going to plug a battery in and I'm going to see if it smokes or doesn't smoke, and if it smokes I'm going to cry, but it hopefully won't, so let's see, there it is, let's plug a battery in, see what happens. Pretty good guys, flight stack flashing, Cadex Vista flashing, uh, my Nano is on, everything is there. So yeah, there you see. Oh good, brilliant, I am happy about that. Whew, okay. smart. So, pretty good, I think she looks epic to be honest with you. You like that? I mean, that looks super, super smart. Little Apex 3-inch build. Beautiful. Beautiful little quad. Let's take the bloody cover off the camera as well. Super smart. So, last things, guys. Props. I have got some props. And they're right here. I've got these Azure Racing Power props. And, yeah, let's stick these on. In the green, obviously. Got the prop bolts as well.
So props again, guys. If you're putting these on, basically angle down, get them on, and then angle towards the quad. So you've got both angles towards the quad. Down towards the quad. Props on, look at that. She looks epic. Really smart, really happy with how that's turned out. It looks absolutely lovely. Make sure that won't get, that'd be fine. So you have got, obviously in the build, you've got battery pads. You can put battery pads on if you like. I'm gonna stick a bit of Valkyrie on there in the end like I always do. But there guys, she looks absolutely super. Look at that, little three inch apex. That's it guys, 3-inch Apex build complete. Hope you enjoyed that. So I will be doing obviously the configuration of this and I'll be doing some first flights. So make sure you do hit that subscribe, hit the bell notification, hit the thumbs up so you can actually view that when I've done it. Hope you like that guys, stay tuned and I'll see you again. Thanks a lot, bye.